Alright, I'm a little late on this, but Token Ranbu Warriors, the newest Warriors collab from Koei Tecmo, showed out at Tokyo Game Show 2021, along with Dynasty Warriors and Empires. And I reacted to that, but for Token Ranbu Warriors, I'm going to explain to you how this game is going to play with the help of some translations from the one and only Black Kite. So let's go on ahead and look at the gameplay. Alright, so we're in the main menu, and the main menu looks very similar to the one that's in Token Ranbu Online, if you ever played that game. Starting from the top, you have the highlighted mode right now, which is called Honmaru, which is of course the castle exterior of a Japanese castle. And <laughs> basically what you do in this mode is you can set a specific sword boy to a specific location in the castle, and they will appear as such. The cool thing about this is that you can actually choose more than one person, and it will sometimes trigger a special conversation between these guys, which will be fun to watch as we are getting to know these characters. Alright, we get to the first gameplay, and we get to see Yaman Bagiri in action. And you know I was excited, because he's my starter Pokemon. I picked him first for my first character. And anyways, the first thing I always notice in Warriors games is the HUD, the heads up display, and it's looking clean. It honestly does look really nice. It's also to note that you're going to get a support character in this game. You can't switch to them though. They're only going to be AI controlled. And the stages, the stages remind me a lot of Sengoku Basura, I'm not going to lie. Like very linear corridor based. And eventually there's probably going to be more routes because I think this is more or less like a beginner stage. And oh, look, there's going to be a Konosuke, which is that little fox thing that's going to help you around and basically point you in the direction that you need to go which is gonna be very handholdy but it makes sense for what i believe this game is trying to pull off but i'll talk about that later in the video and if you haven't noticed by now yeah we're going to the charge attack combo system which has been a serious staple since the ps2 games but there is a pretty cool twist and that is this right here so you might be thinking trigger attacks ultimate skills no it is actually a shortcut to your charge attacks so rather than doing like a one two three four normal attack string and then finishing with the triangle or strong attack you can just press a trigger button with any of the face buttons and you can automatically do it this basically fixes the biggest flaw in the charge attack combo system at the expense of adding an additional r1 attack but i think it'd be pretty interesting to try out especially if they are cancelable Alright, so let's get into officer encounters. So there is going to be lock-on in this game, which I believe should be in every Warriors game from now on. And enemies are going to telegraph their attacks like in Samurai Warriors 5 with the red indicators. And of course, it wouldn't be a Musou game without a Musou attack or special attack. And here we go. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> and it also looks like there's going to be a lot of enemy variety in this, which is what I believe to be one of the biggest strengths in Hyrule Warriors and Hyrule Warriors Age of Calamity. If this game wants to be as good as those games, these enemies need to be able to challenge us in different ways, and I hope that's the case with this game. Also, there's weapon deadlocks in this game, or weapon clashes, or whatever you want to call them. And I love the return of this, because, uh, dude, I haven't seen a good weapon deadlock or weapon clash since, like, Dynasty Warriors 6, maybe. Wow. All right, now we're switching right over to Yaman Bagiri Chogi. Again, I don't really know much about this guy, besides he's... He's gonna be, like, a clone-like character to Yaman Bagiri, but not really. Uh, from what I can tell, his S-string seems very similar, but his charge attacks are very much different. Also, you can dodge cancel out of your charge attacks. I love dodge buttons in Warriors games not just because they're a dodge button, but they can also be used as a dash or combo extender. So seeing this in this game being cancelable is very promising. So also in this section they talk about an easy mode functionality, which will basically make it so that you can play the game by only pressing one button and it'll just dodge, attack, do everything for you basically. This is for players that are not really good at action games and um, yeah we start to see more beginner friendly features added to this game. So you are using only Y button to face these enemies. I'm only using stick and Y button. So also besides just enemy bosses and the 
minions. There's gonna be these orbs in some of these missions, and they're gonna pretty much act as spawners. So, adds a little bit more variety to battles, kinda. And usually with Warriors games, the easiest way to clear a crowd is usually with a team attack. So once that pink meter on the left fills up, you can basically go into team rage mode and you're gonna wreak havoc uh, while your partner just like starts attacking all around you. And at the end of this, you can finish with... And now we move on to the last gameplay section, which is gonna show off a different type of battle where you actually have to explore the map and try and find these marked enemies to beat the stage. This stage also shows off a really nasty enemy type. It's a it's a giant fucking spider dude. Look, this thing creeps me out, but it really gives me hope that this game is gonna have really good enemy variety, cause this thing looks sick to fight, honestly. And that basically wraps up everything that was shown at TGS 2021 for Token Ranbu Musa or Token Ranbu Warriors. So me myself, I am very excited for this game even though I believe that this game is going to be more uh, simplified and beginner friendly for non-action game players. Which has always been a red flag for Warriors games, but I believe that they're doing this right this time. So with that being said, I would love to hear you guys thoughts on this game, uh, especially if you're a token Ranbu fan. Because I have a lot of Warriors fans, so I obviously know their opinion because I'm a Warriors fan myself. But I really want to hear from the perspective of a token Ranbu fan. Are you excited about this game? And as always, leave a like and consider subscribing if you want to see some more Warriors content. Also, you have to follow Black Kite. Come on, he's only the best translator when it comes to Koei Tecmo Dynasty Wars, all that stuff. Alright, thank you for watching the video, and I am going to go now.